Good morning everyone, welcome to this new shaving review. Uh, today I'm going to review one of the soap that it's that I presented last week. Uh, same okay, soap from the same company, not the soap I used. The soap I'm going to present today is Kells Shaving Soap from uh, Murphy McNeil. The razor I'm going to use, I'm going to use my Merker 38C, the blade in it, it's a Bosch God for uh, second use. Brush, I'm gonna use my Spifo brush, uh, Red Ruby, uh, Dark Ruby, sorry, with uh, Best Badger, Best Badger Knot, and uh, that's it. Okay, I'm just going to go uh, rinse the face and I'm going to be right back. Okay, uh, the soap itself. Uh, I received those soaps. Uh, I didn't pay for them, okay. Um, free samples I received from Murphy McNeil. Uh, shortly before Christmas, uh, they came in those little pouch. Uh, the soap itself, okay. Now, on this website, you can order you can order these samples uh, in the little pouch like that, half an ounce. Uh, when you get the soap uh, in the pouch, they don't have a chance to dry too much. They're still kind of okay. They're kind of wet. They're a little soft. Uh, if you open the pouch, the soap will dry out a little bit. Sorry, I just rinse my fingers now. Yeah, the soap will dry out and will harden a little bit. Okay, what I did is I took it, put it in a the bowl there. Uh, I used that yesterday for the French video. But, okay, half, half an ounce. It's nice, it's nice amount. Okay, we're gonna go load the brush. I think, I think the, uh, you can buy, okay, regular jars for four ounces. The soap itself, uh, it's a tallow base, and when you look at the ingredients, uh, you go with tallow, uh, stearic acid, water, coconut milk, then you go into potassium, sodium hydroxide, and fragrance. There's a pretty high content, okay, really the uh, the main oil in it will be tallow. For, for tallow lovers, well, there we go. It's about what I got right now. Let the face a little more. There we go. Okay, first application. Kel soap. The scent on it, uh, and it, it's something that that pretty much standard for all of this soap. They're not the the, the scent is not over the top. Uh, they go between a six and a seven. Scent notes in the scent notes on this one: bergamot, ambroxan, geranium, lavender, vetiver, and patchouli. It's well blended. Okay, you can't maybe a little bit of bergamot. Just gonna add a little bit of water to it. The scent on Kel soap actually reminds me a little bit of Dracar Noir into the uh, the floral component of Dracar Noir. It's 
it's not it's not I can't give a season to the scent it's it's a good scent all around a little bit more, a little bit more water the soap is not super thirsty but I don't know if you can see Okay, beautiful leather, it's pretty thick, pretty rich uh, you can it, you can build it into a really nice volume there we go If you can see, okay, that's what I got. It's there's a nice pearly sheen on it. I probably could build it into something a little bit shinier, but we're just gonna do that through the shave. Okay, first pass with a grain. Okay, the soap, the soap itself, absolutely. Okay, there's no, there's no shoe with it. Really nice glide on it. Uh, nice protection too. Residual slickness, no problem. You, you just have to make sure that the soap is well hydrated. Okay, if. Uh, And that's one thing you're gonna know if the soap is under hydrated there won't be any residual slickness no residual slickness is there I just got the sweet spot with it and you see it's nice and thick the scent once lathered doesn't really evolve it's pretty much the same scent as on the puck like I said it's similar to Drakkar Noir there's something similar to maybe um, Maybe those shaving cream, you know those in the in uh, in spray can. Okay, there's a scent that's reminiscent of that. It's it's really nice. It's nice shave, nice scent. It's not too strong. Not it's not too strong. But uh, if you don't use an aftershave, you will smell. Okay, the, the smell will remain with you for a while. Uh, it's quite nice. Anyway, okay, first pass nice shave no problem still quite slick I'm just gonna go rinse the face and I'll be back for pass number two okay give me a sec okay pass number two Murphy McNeil uh, American artisan he came out with his own soap a little bit just before Christmas I can't remember if it was November found him on Instagram follow him on Instagram okay he's very present you can see him on Instagram ask him questions message him he does reply um, like I said U.S. artisan from uh, Texas, Flower Mound, Texas. Um, down below, I'm gonna put down below. I'm gonna put the link to uh, all of his okay his own collection on his website. He also sells um, he also sells uh, pre-used shaving soaps. Okay, like you see, uh, no problem. It's nice and thick. Okay, so I'm gonna pass across the grain. He 
He also offers with his uh, with his soaps. He also offers uh, splash. And I think some of his some of his uh, uh, aftershaves are also alcohol free. He offers with and without alcohol. Okay, very slick, super nice. I don't have any problem with the glide. I did try, I did try the soap with way more aggressive razors. Offers good protection. There we go. Okay, second pass. Again, no problem. Uh, the razor itself, it's not super aggressive. Vashka, this fairly efficient blade. Uh, it gives a good shave, okay? It's gonna give good close shave. I'm quite happy with how it is right now, but we're gonna go for third pass. Uh, okay, just give me a second. Go, I'm gonna go rinse the face, wet the face, and I'll be right back for the third pass. Okay, third pass. Tons of water left on my face. Oh yeah, inside the soap too, uh, in the formula. As you saw in between the first second pass, uh, there's also lanolin in it. There is uh, cocum shea butter, Silk. Yeah. It may seem a little thin right now, but I did add a fair amount of water to it. Okay, when I did my first pass, I I brought it right there at the edge where it was the hydration was really good, and now it's in the uh, no, it's a little bit in the overhydrated because there's still uh, there's still tons. Uh, that's what the brush looks like. Tons of on my hand. And whatever I had on my hand, okay, my hands are fairly, fairly slippery. There we go, third pass against the green. Uh, most of the soaps, most of the soaps are, <laughs> if you look at the uh, the design on the tubs, uh, pretty much everything is uh, Irish, Gaelic, Gaelic uh, inspired, okay, for names and the, uh, the artwork on the tubs. It's nice and close. Maybe one. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, I can go back. No problem. Okay, there's enough glide on it. Even, even if the soap was on the over hydrated side, it's off a good, good glide. And I like the idea of the smaller samples like this. Can try a bunch before you commit to wet you to wet you in, but anyway. Hey, okay. that's the end of the third pass. Really nice shave, okay? It's very, very, very close. Uh, no problem. Uh, okay. Uh, was fairly easy to load, fairly easy to load. Easy lather, it gave a really thick, creamy lather, uh, fairly voluminous, and the glide on it, the glide residual slickness, no issues, it's super nice. Uh, the scent, like I said, it's six, seven, uh, it's on the soft side, but it still remains masculine. Uh, like I say, it, it reminds me of those old barbershop type or those those uh, shaving the those ill, old shaving cream. Uh, I like the scent. Uh, what I'm gonna go do? <laughs> I'm gonna go rinse the face and I'm gonna come back for a conclusion. Okay, give me a second. Okay. We're back. Uh, the aftershave I'm going to use today, fine clean vetiver. Uh, there is, there is an, there is something in the scent, well, probably the vetiver and the soap and in that, that I find similar. No, I don't feel any burn from uh, from the aftershave. The shave was really smooth. Okay, uh, no burn. I'm gonna feel a little bit of the uh, a little bit of the uh, the mantle kicking in soon, but no more than that. Uh, I'm not done applying stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna wait a little bit. Let the uh, I'm just gonna let the splash, the alcohol evaporate. I'm gonna go back to what I use and we're gonna finish up with the last part. Uh, again, the soap, okay, Murphy McNeil. Little samplers like that, half an ounce, really interesting. If you do get the samplers, okay, take take the sample out and let it dry out a little, okay, or at least open the pouch. Uh, because you're gonna see when when I, when I opened this one, it was probably the same consistency as uh, a Tubbs, Tubbs cream. It took the day really to harden into something that's more like a crow. The brush I used today, I used my Spifo's Dark Ruby, okay, Best Badger, not really nice brush. The razor was the Merker 38C with a Voshkot blade in it. Voshkot blade was therefore the second use. Now it's cold outside. Uh, that's been cold now for the last few weeks. It's annoying, really. What I'm gonna use? I'm gonna use a bomb. Bomb from it's a bomb from France by uh, Monsieur Barbier. It's a nice. It's a really nice bomb. The scent in it. Um, Maybe a, I don't know. It's kind of hard not to smell it, but the uh, it, it's not scentless, but very near. Okay. Maybe a little. It's a floral. It's floral. More uh, more rosy maybe, but it's not. It's not overpowering. It's not gonna stay long. Anyway. That completes the shave today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget, link is down below for Murphy McNeil. Go check them out.
it's it's really it's a really interesting soap. Um, it's really worth to go and check them out. Now I hope you guys are gonna have a beautiful week, tons of good shave, and I hope to see you next week for a new shaving review with this guy. Have a great week and hope to see you soon. Okay? Bye bye guys.